Let's get things started. Ready? Go! Hello and welcome to Bounty in the Comics. My name is John Trent. I'm the founder and editor-in-chief at Bounty in the Comics. Today I got a story about Brie Larson stands accusing the actress's critics of racism and sexism and how that is a bold-faced lie. Before we get to that, I'd like to ask you to please hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. If you are already subscribed, please make sure you are still subscribed. YouTube does like to unsubscribe people for whatever reason. And then hopefully by the end of this video, I will have earned your like and that you'll give us a like that you'll also share this video with your friends and family. So as I said, let's get to the meat of this story. Brie Larson stands, or crazed and obsessed fans as defined by Urban Dictionary, are attempting to defend the actress for her past actions by accusing her critics of racism and sexism. The Brie Larson stan account on Twitter, Brie Larson WW, recently shared a meme showing a Trojan horse labeled racism and sexism filled with YouTuber MechaRandom42, Jeremy Griggs from Geeks and Gamers, Jeremy Hambly from The Quartering, and Anna from That Star Wars Girl. The Trojan horse is being pulled by a man labeled Geek YouTuber into YouTube, which is filled with the, quote, young, apolitical public. They captioned the meme, writing, yeah, that's pretty much the story of why people hate Brie Larson. It's all manipulation and bias. The meme is completely false. In fact, it's Brie Larson who has actually expressed sexist and racist views in the past. Infamously, back in June 2018, while receiving the Crystal Award at the Women in Film Crystal Plus Lucy Awards in Los Angeles, Larson commented on the critics of A Wrinkle in Time and specifically segmented them out by their race and gender. She said, I don't need a 40-year-old white dude to tell me what didn't work about A Wrinkle in Time. It wasn't made for him. I want to know what that film meant to women of color, to biracial women, to teen women of color, to teens that are biracial. She would go on to add, and for the third time, I don't hate white dudes. These are just facts. These are not my feelings. Not only did Larson clearly indicate she was prejudiced against 40-year-old white dudes and their opinions regarding A Wrinkle in Time, but while promoting Captain Marvel, she insinuated she wanted to have less white men on the press tour. She told Marie Claire, quote, About a year ago, I started paying attention to what my press days looked like in the critics reviewing movies and noticed it appeared to be overwhelmingly white male. Again, she's separating people by their race and gender. Larson continued saying, so I spoke to Dr. Stacy Smith at the USC Annenberg Inclusion Initiative who put together a study to confirm that. Moving forward, I decided to make sure my press days were more inclusive. Larson then added, after speaking with you, the film critic Valerie Complex and a few other women of color, it sounded like across the board, they weren't getting the same opportunities as others, when I talked to the facilities that weren't providing it, they all had different excuses. Larson would eventually attempt to backtrack her comments to Murray Claire in an interview with Fox 5's Kevin McCarthy. She told him, What I'm looking for is to bring more seats up to the table. No one is getting their chair taken away. There's not less seats at the table. There's just more seats at the table. She didn't actually explain how this would work. As Twitter user Price of Reason points out, quote, calling women who aren't fans of an actress you like sexist is pathetic, and that's putting it mildly. Also, Brie Larson herself opened the door for any criticism she got by saying she doesn't value the opinions of white dudes. And she clearly did, as, ev as I've evidenced in this video. YouTuber MechaRandom42 would also reply to the false accusation against her. She tweeted, quote, also, Brie Larson should have had the woke mob come after her when she covered seven rings on Carpool Karaoke. The song is both literal cultural appropriation of black hip-hop lifestyles and flaunts her white privilege. She also made a racist movie, Basmati Blues, LOL, but sure. Mecca Random is obviously turning the woke culture mentality against itself by making <laughs> that comment. At least that's what it appears to me. But it's pretty clear that there are Lots of reasons to criticize Brie Larson, and these are just a few examples. She has also called for the defunding of police. She has said that 2019 is all about intersectional feminism and has made other uh, ridiculous and, in my opinion, insane comments. That's my thoughts on the matter. My name is John Trent, and you've been watching Bounty in the Comics.